What's up everybody? Today I am in South Jersey in Wharton State Forest to check out a place called Atzian Village. And it's a former iron village in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Um, the iron industry was once a big thing in the Pine Barrens, but it, you know, kind of um, went obsolete. And you can just find all these remains of different ghost towns and things like that. Um, so this one, there's some old preserved buildings, there's an old iron forge. We're gonna go walk around, take a look at them, see what we can find. It looks pretty cool, so come with me. All right, so this panel gives us a little background on the history of the town. Now this is the name of the town, and I'm gonna say Atzian. I'm probably wrong about that. So if anybody knows the right way to pronounce it, please let me know. But yeah, this was an iron forge. Um, that was kind of what the village was based around. Um, here in the Pine Barrens in New Jersey, uh, they did something called bog iron, which is they would get iron ore out of the water, and they would use it, and they would refine it and make iron out of it, but they found better methods later on, and you know, the industry in this region kind of dried up. So we're gonna go check out some of these buildings that are left. And right here, we have the ma mansion of the village's founder. And just look at this. This is extravagant, even by today's standards. It is just a huge. And it's in remarkably good condition. The only signs of decay are you can see some of the, the paint peeling on the shutters there. But other than that, it looks like you could like move in tomorrow if you wanted to. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Really nice building. Now, it's kind of fenced off and I don't think I can walk right up to it. Um, so, I'll get as close as I can. I'll show you what we can see. Right back here, it looks like we got this little outside area. Got a pile of bricks there for some reason. Yeah, just look at this place. I would, I would live here. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. So this was built in the 1800s. Still standing, still looking good. And right behind the mansion, we have a building that is not in quite as good shape. Look at this, this is so cool. Now I don't know what this was exactly, maybe a guest house or something like that, maybe a servant's quarters, but it is just all decayed and overgrown and cool looking. Oh, this is really neat. Oh, so this, you can see by how wide this was. This must have been a barn or something, but how wide, how wide this opening was. Either a barn or something for carriages. And you can see that top bar up top there. That must have been some kind of like sliding door. And look at all this vine overgrowth. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, and it's hard to see, but there is some kind of plow in the middle there. Some kind of um, piece of farming equipment. I'm gonna try and zoom in on it for you. Can you see that? It's probably hard to see with all the stuff growing up around it. But yeah, there's some kind of a, a plow or something, a tiller. Yeah, and right back here, you have some kind of like a trough or something. Yeah, it must have been like a water basin or a trough. Well, let's just get a view of this place from the backside. Yeah, and right there you can see that piece of equipment a little bit better. This looks so neat, and it's kind of a cool juxtaposition with this building being all decayed and overgrown right next to this one, which just looks all practically brand new and nice. Yeah, cool stuff right here. Okay, so continuing on, I know the Iron Forge is still standing, so let's go walk around, see if we can find our way to that and see what else we can find. And check this out, we got an abandoned log cabin right here. Just look at this one. I have never seen a log cabin looking like this. This is awesome. You can see right here, looks like a woodpecker went to town on this. Let's have ourselves a look in the window. Oh, check out that old wallpaper. So yeah, this looks like it was a house. 
like somebody's residence. I think right down here we can see the kitchen sink and some of our old friends, the cave crickets. Yeah, that's really cool. We've got a little back porch area. What a cute little place. Too bad it's completely run down. Yeah, just look at these logs with the uh, the cement in between them. That's a uh, that's some rustic stuff right there. And let's see what we can see. Oh wow, look at that. Here we are in the bathroom. That's pretty creepy. There must have been a screen here, but it looks like it's been cut apart by somebody. What a cool little place. I didn't expect to find this. But we should keep walking on and find the forge. And I was just walking along and it just kind of snuck up on me. It's hiding right behind that tree right there. It's a lot smaller than I expected it to be, but it's still pretty awesome. Let's have a look at this thing. That's really cool. Yeah, so here along the sides of the furnace, we have this little wall. And where I'm standing right now is actually a cement floor. So this must have been a building. And I guess this must have been the foundation, all the remnants we can see of it. And it just goes right along all over there and right along back here. So yeah, there must have been a building or something to go right next to this forge. Wonder why that was torn down and not the forge. Yeah, so this must have been a really large building, because this goes back a ways. And you can just see all these little remainders of the, the wall here. And you can see that they put cement on top of them to kind of um, hold them in place, just to kind of prevent any further crumbling. Yeah, really neat. Kind of spooky vibes, but just one of those cool things you see when you come down here into the Pine Barrens and check stuff out. And just right behind it, we have this lovely little stream flowing through. And now this is the sort of body of water that they would be using as a source of bog iron. They would um, get the iron ore from down in the bottom of these streams like this, and that's what they would use to create iron. And that's why there was an iron industry here in the Pine Barrens before they uh, came up with better methods of mining. All right, so right back in here, and it might be a little hard for me to get to it, there's some more ruins. Looks like the cellar hall for an old building. Yeah, look at that. And it looks like just right up here, we got another one. Yeah, check this out. Must have been a house or something here at one point. Back when this place was a was a town. Yeah, just check this out. And you can see these plants right here. I think they're called yucca. I'm not sure if that's what these are or not but they're not native to New Jersey. These were grown by people settling here in the Pine Barrens. So whenever you see these, 
you know this is a sign of um, former inhabitants of that area. Pretty cool. So thank you for joining me for this fun little exploration of another historical ghost town here in the Pine Barrens. It seems there's quite a few of them that just kind of, you know, disappeared when that iron industry dried up. This was Atzian in Wharton State Forest. Really cool place. So my name is Ray, my channel's right out there. If you like this video, please hit subscribe to join me on my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.